Studio as What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel in our Georgia State Dynasty. Last week the Panthers were at home in the Georgia Dome taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Panthers came away with the victory 24-17 to improve to 2-0. This week the Panthers head to the road to open up SEC play against Alabama. This will be a tough one. Can the Panthers survive? We're gonna find out next. Nobody's gonna get. As they line up for Georgia State will kick off, and SEC play is underway. Alabama's Harrison will take this one out past the 10, past the 20, tackled at the 23. That is where Alabama will start first and 10. May is going to roll it out to the right. Got lots of time, fires, and incomplete. He had a man wide open and missed him. Second down and 10 now for Alabama. Mays from the shotgun here. Going to fire outside and broken up. Chaz Holly with the diving deflection. And it's third down from the shotgun. Mays looking to pass for that first down. Steps up, goes deep, wide open is Macy. And Macy's got the catch for 48 yards into Georgia State territory. Third and two now. Mays hands off to Ellis up the middle. And he'll end up gaining 12, and it's first and goal, Alabama. From the eight, Mays is going to dump it off to Macy, and he gains two. Second down and goal now from the seven. Mays back to pass here, steps up a bit, and throws this one away incomplete. It'll be third down and goal now for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Mays working from the shotgun here is going to throw it out to Ellis, and Ellis will backpedal out of bounds for a loss of six, and Alabama will settle for a field goal. We have a studio update, number 19, Georgia, beats Arkansas 41 to 24 to improve to three and zero. Steve Smith and the Panthers come out now. Last game he had 202 passing yards, two touchdowns. He hopes to improve on that this week. His first SEC game, and on the first play he finds Trevor Phillips for a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 now towards midfield. Smith is going to hand it off to Anthony Gross. He's going to get outside here. He's going to get the first down and more down the sideline. He goes for 21 yards. Third down and eight now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass, and he is wrapped up for a sack, a loss of eight on the play, and that will force a fourth down and a Georgia State punt. Alabama takes over for the second time this quarter, and Jeremy Ellis runs it up the middle for a gain of nine. They would pick up the first down, though. Second and eight. May is going to keep it on the read option. He's going to roll over B.J. Allen, who stays on his feet and gets the tackle. Third and 13 now for Alabama. Mays back to pass here, and he's taken down. Sacked for a loss of seven. And that will bring an end to the drive in the end of the first quarter. Alabama on top, three to nothing. Press too much. Georgia State has the ball to start the second quarter nor towards midfield. Hand off to Stephen Leach trying to get outside, but he's dragged down in the backfield for a loss of three. Third and three now for the Panthers. Set up in the shotgun. Smith is going to keep it on the read option. He's going to get outside and get the first down. Down to the Alabama 36-yard line. Third and four now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass. He's going to fire it deep. And it's incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. And Georgia State is going to go for it. Fourth and four from the Alabama 29. Smith's pass caught by Matt Terry for a first down. A gain of 12. Keeping this drive alive. It's second and five now for the Panthers. Handoff goes to Anthony Gross up the middle. He makes his way down to about the one yard line. A gain of 11. First and goal Georgia State.
from the one. Smith fires quickly on first down and is picked off by Robinson. And he kneels it in the end zone and Alabama takes over. A turnover by Steve Smith gives the ball back to the Crimson Tide. Mays will hand off to Ellis on first and 10. Up the middle, he's got the first down and more. A gain of 23. Second and six now from the 47 yard line. Ellis up the middle. He's got another first down into Georgia State territory. 79 rushing yards for Alabama today so far. It's second down and one and Ellis gets another carry and he runs over a defender on a gain of 11. First and 10 now from the Georgia State 21. Ellis gets the handoff outside. He's going to cut it back up the middle. And he makes his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Jeremy Ellis and the Alabama Crimson Tide extend their lead to 10 to nothing on the 21-yard touchdown run. Georgia State takes over now, down by 10. Handoff to Gross outside. He get, picks up the first down on a gain of 11. Smith under center now on first and 10. He'll drop back to pass. A quick comeback route to Trevor Phillips, and he cannot hang on to the ball. It's incomplete. Second and 10. Smith, working from under center, will look to pass again. This time he has lots of time, and he finds Phillips. This time he hangs on inside the 40, dragged down inside the 30. It's a 36-yard gain. Third and seven now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass. Looking, looking, and it's picked off by Hodges. He's going to take this one back to midfield inside Georgia State territory. Taken down at the 37-yard line. And another turnover by the Georgia State Panthers puts Alabama in good field position. Ellis with the carry will gain 15 down to the 21-yard line. Third and two now for Alabama. May is going to keep it on the read option. That's a mistake. He's taken down for a loss of five by Patrick Smith. And that ends the threat. Alabama adds a field goal to make it 13 to nothing. Georgia State takes over. Smith scrambling, firing on the run, finding Terrence Flynn at midfield. Flynn with a 26-yard reception, and Georgia State's on the move. Smith back to pass now in first and 10. will find Luther Madison for 20 yards and quickly... With under a minute to go, the Panthers are in Alabama territory. Second and 10, Smith will find Josh Everson up the middle. He's going to find his way inside the five, down at the four. First and goal, Georgia State. Smith will hand off to Gross, trying a way to fight his way to the end zone, and he gets down to about the two. Second and goal now from about the one and a half, two yard line. Gross with the carry will be stopped for a loss of one, and Georgia State will take a timeout. Nine seconds to go in the half. Smith under center. Back to pass. Dumps it off to Flynn. And he's got the catch in the end zone for the touchdown. And Georgia State gets on the board right before halftime with a touchdown. Make it a 13-7 game here as we head into halftime. Georgia State scored right before the half, and they have the ball to start the third quarter. Hand off to Leach, and he has hit hard in the backfield. A loss of two yards. That will take us to the halftime stats here. And Georgia State, 154 yards passing, but they're giving up 140 on the ground to Alabama, and those two turnovers may be the difference in the game. Third and eight now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass, and his pass to Phillips will be broken up incomplete. And Georgia State's going to have to punt. Alabama's going to take over now up by six. Mays is going to keep it here. And he will be dragged down, but not before he gets the first down. Into Georgia State territory now. It's first and ten. Hand off to Ellis. And Ellis will go for about a gain of five. But a flag on the play will add 15. Third and nine now for the Crimson Tide. Mays back to pass. We'll throw this one up to the end zone. And it is caught by... The receiver, but he's out of bounds, incomplete. Alabama adds a field goal to make it 16 to seven. Georgia State takes over and Steve Smith goes down. A loss of 10 on the play. We'll bring up second and 20. Smith back to pass again and again. He goes down, a loss of another 10 yards. We'll bring up third and 30 and Georgia State would not be able to pick it up. They punt. 
Alabama takes over in good field position. Ellis with the carry up the middle. Down to the 30 of Georgia State, a gain of 18. First and 10 now for the Crimson Tide. Mays going to keep it on the read option. And he's got the first down and more inside the 15. First and 10 from the 14. Mays will hand off to Ellis. And he is going to be stopped for no gain on the play. Third and nine for the Crimson Tide. Mays back to pass here is going to step up. And he will go down. He gains two, but... It sets up fourth down, and Alabama will kick a field goal. We have a studio update. Penn State losing to Wisconsin 21-17. They're ranked number five in the country. And at the end of three quarters here in our game, it's 19-7, Alabama. Georgia State starts the fourth quarter with the ball at midfield. Smith back to pass on first and ten. He's going to find a wide open Luther Madison. He cannot outrun the defender, but he gains 26. Later in the drive, it's third and nine. Smith working from the shotgun here. He's going to fire it deep, and it's broken up by Rick Hawkins. That'll bring up fourth down, and Georgia State's going to go for it down by 12 here in the fourth quarter. Smith back to pass here, is going to fire, and it's incomplete. Kyle Pollock with the deflection, and Georgia State turns the ball over. Alabama now with their first possession here in the fourth quarter. Mays is going to take off, get hit hard, but he gains nine in a Crimson Tide first down. Second and four, Mays will keep it again, and this time he breaks a tackle. Ends up picking up the first down here and ends up fumbling the ball, but out of bounds there. Third down and five. Mays from the shotgun will hand off to Ellis, and Ellis stopped for a loss of one. That'll bring up fourth down, and Georgia State gets the ball back, though they have to start from their own one-yard line. Hand off to Anthony Gross up the middle. That will go for nine yards. They would eventually pick up that first down. First and 10, Smith back to pass, going deep, caught by Madison, up towards the 30, another first down. Very next play here from the 40 here, Smith back to pass, he's gonna fire it outside, caught by Madison, he cannot get away, but it's a gain of 18. Georgia State in the hurry up, second and two, Smith from the shotgun will hand off to Anthony Gross, and he picks up three, just enough for a first down to keep this drive going. Third and 10 now for Georgia State. Smith gonna throw this one up for Madison and it is just a tad overthrown. It would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's fourth and 10 now. Smith, empty backfield set, will fire and Andrew Roberts makes the one-handed catch for a first down to keep this drive going. Very next play here, Smith looking, looking, firing, caught by Terry, fighting his way to the end zone, and they say he is in the end zone for the touchdown, but they're going to review it, and upon further review here, you can see that his knee is down before the ball comes close to the goal line, even if it even crosses the goal line, and they overturn it. It'll be first and goal, Georgia State from the one and on first and goal, Smith will hand off to Gross. And Gross makes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And Georgia State now down by six. We'll add the extra point, make it a five point game. Alabama with the ball, third and inches. This will could be the game here. And Ellis gets two yards and that will seal it for the Crimson Tide. They run the clock out and get the victory in Georgia State's first SEC game. Jeremy Ellis, your player of the game, 193 yards and a touchdown. And Georgia State loses their SEC opener 19-14. to to Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week, number 16, Florida State wins, and number 7, Baylor wins, 34-14. to Taking a look at the stats from our game today, Georgia State, two turnovers. That was probably what cost them in this game though they did move the ball through the air very well. Anthony Gross, your player of the game on the offense, 100 yards and a touchdown. Thomas Hendricks, eight tackles and assist. And the new top 25 poll is out, and Georgia State moves from four to number seven. 
after losing to number eight Alabama, who moves up to number four. And coming up next week, Georgia State will be on the road again for another SEC matchup against number 16, Georgia. They're 3-0. and We're 2-1. and If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.